So we got uh, Stephen A. Smith stopping at uh, PBD's podcast. A uh, big shout out to PBD uh, Value Tainment. Love that sh- uh, podcast, guys. You know, um, enjoyed it a lot. Um, but Stephen A. Smith stopped by today. I was kind of waiting on an interview to see what he would say. I already kind of figured out uh, what it would, how it would go. But you know, as uh, I expected, uh, when they started talking about Trump and Biden, uh, Stephen A. has been flip flopping. Man, I, I just. You know, to me, Stephen A. I heard people report on him before, and, and you know, I, to me, he's he's a flip flopper. Uh, you know, it's like you know, th- he's making a connection. The wires connecting. You see the spark happening, and you get excited because the spark's happening, and then we're gonna get some uh, current here, and then boom, he just it's, it just comes apart. Uh, so he never really keeps the connection. Uh, to me, that's that's my analysis of it. But you know, I think that. Um, He's scared like like he might he might say that he's not, but I believe that he's scared of the backlash. ESPN, all these networks that that we see are mostly liberals. You know, they they will fire you, man. You know, you you start talking about some how you like Trump, man. Uh, Even if the owners and the CEOs love Trump, they're still not going to want you to talk about it. They'll fire you, bro. Not to mention all the all all your black buddies. They're going to come out and. Call you the a boot liquor. They I mean, they're gonna give you the blues. So if you don't get fired, you'll probably want to quit. <laughs> okay, I mean that's just that's just how it is, you know. And and I I believe that that's why Stephen A. Smith just won't ever make that connection. He's not. He's a never Trumper forever. Yeah, you know, he's just just not gonna do it. He, and he knows how bad the Democrat Party is. He'll he'll tell you. He'll tell you exactly what it is, what they're doing, what's wrong. He, I mean, down to a T, he sounds pretty conservative when he's talking about it, but he just won't make the connection. So to me, that's the only reason uh, that I believe that Stephen A would would not go uh, conservative. But I want you to, uh, to go ahead and take a listen. Uh, Pat's got some really good questions always. I uh, love the questions uh, that he because he, because it's like, you know, he, he's framing it and then it's like, yo, all right, this is exactly what we want to. What we want to know, you know, is Pat, Pat's really good at that. But go ahead. Uh, why here? I just saw Drummond said something. I was it was very interesting. I think you would enjoy watching it. Mm-hmm. Going back to going back to your mom, and when you're talking about on the conservative side, do, do you, your recent positioning with Trump has yes. been has got has gotten a lot of people a little bit mm-hmm. uh, uh, asking questions. Sure. Okay. So hey, you know the Democrats, what you're doing, you know. Uh, trying to uh, undermine everything this man's doing, it's not working. You know, you're kind of going through the whole process and he kind of, Biden, all this stuff. What, what, what do you think, uh, you know, the strategy that they're doing right now, do you do you think they don't know that it's not working or do you think they're convinced it's going to end up working come November 5th with the day we woke? I think they're convinced it's going to work. And I think that they're leaning on the 2022 midterms to buffer their point. Um, You had certain Democrats who were supporting uh, Trump surrogates. I'm sorry. They were they were supporting these folks uh, and favoring. Yeah. Trump surrogates during the 2022 um, midterms. And people were anticipating a red wave that never arrived. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so that's what they're thinking about. The more we put Trump out there, the more we put Trump out there, the more we buffer support and and augment support for these folks who support him, ultimately it will lead to our victory. That's how they're thinking. And I'm saying that's not going to (laughs) work. Okay. When you try to prosecute your political opponents, it's just not right. That just tells us that you can't whip him on policy. You can't. There's you don't you don't have any sort of policy. You don't have anything to combat Trump and his policies that are better. It's nothing you could do. That's that's what it tells the American people. That's what we that's what we actually can see. No, not what I'm seeing. I think that. He has damn near a cult following. I'm not calling folks cultists or anything like that. I'm just talking. I'm just speaking metaphorically about how these folks are in terms of their love, their devotion, their belief in him. And they, they, they see, look, they try to put us in a category in a box like it's just like 20 of us. You know, they know they know there's millions and millions of us, first of all. Second of all, it's not Trump that we are following as much as it is what he what he stands for and what he's doing for the country and what he's already done for the country what we've already been able to see 
You have four years of Trump. Now you have four years of Biden. Which one would you pick if you had two brain cells to rub together? You clearly pick Trump and his economic policies are superior. Okay, so 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 that's what we're talking about here. Just to just to make that very clear. And they're not going anywhere. And then you got Hispanics who are supporting him now, according to the polls. You've got more black folks who are supporting him now, according to the polls. And even though they're swearing that the overturning of Roe v. Wade, along with some of the charges that have been executed against him, that that's going to turn off white women. Well, we ain't seeing that evidence. And uh, white women like to be able to buy a, a carton of eggs <laughs> at regular price, <laughs> not for eight dollars. OK, they want to buy a, a loaf of bread uh, for two dollars and not seven dollars. All right. You want to fill up your gas tank with thirty dollars and not seventy dollars. That's what we're talking about here. All right. It don't matter what color you are. It ain't got nothing to do with it. I mean, when 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 the economy's good, everybody can do well. That's what we're talking about here. So don't, they, they, can, they should never act shocked and surprised about what, by what they're seeing, okay? Because it's a direct reflection of the economy. And so I'm looking at it from that standpoint, and I'm like, well, wait a minute now. Are y'all not paying attention? Because let me tell you something. Charlemagne the God said it best when he said, Joe Biden is not inspiring at all. Um, you almost get the impression that the Democrats who are pushing for Joe Biden to get four more years, because that's what they were chanting at the State of the Union address, four more years, four more years. Mm -hmm. The man's going to mm -hmm. be 82 in November, and you, you chant for four more years. <laughs> but you've got progressive leftists on this side chanting for four more years. I don't know if they know how embarrassing that is, okay? They should know how embarrassing it is, okay? Because they're not voting for Joe Biden's policies. Everybody knows that. The only thing that they're campaigning on is Orange Man is awful. OK, Trump is bad. We can't have this. We can't. It's so stupid to vote for someone because you don't like someone else. Like, that's why we're in trouble in the first place. All right. People don't do their research or find out. I hope that people will think back to when Trump was in office and at least see that the economy was better. I mean, at least. OK, that's very minimum. Maybe it'll close the border. Also, close the border. Uh, get the wall up. All right, this is why people are going to be voting for Trump. All right, especially uh, legal migrants. They come, they come in here legally. All right, they don't, they don't like the illegal immigration. They can't stand it. Okay, but that's neither here nor there. The point is, is that when you're doing that, I'm looking at them and I'm saying to myself, come on now, this is utterly ridiculous. You think... This is going to get it done. But I tell you what I'm starting to suspect. They don't know if Joe's going to last four more years. And all they care about is that he gets through election day and the inauguration. And then after that, who's the next line in line? It's Kamala Harris. And I think that. What a sad, serious case of events that would happen. But, I mean, Joe Biden's bad enough to think that we would actually have to elect Kamala Harris if Joe Biden doesn't make it. Bro, you know how bad shape we'll be in? You, you know how, you know the state of the economy? You, do, can you imagine what it would be like having Kamala Harris as a president? I can't, I can't even think goddamn straight thinking about it. This would be the worst thing that could ever happen to us. That Kamala Harris, the affirmative action vice president hire, would wind up being the president of the United States. Stop playing. That's how folks are thinking. But my problem with it is, again, we're capitalists. We like competition. What happened to competing with him and winning? What's all the lawfare about? One charge after another. You got Letitia James and the New York Attorney General in, 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 in New York. You've got you, you, you got the folks in Georgia with Fannie Willis and others. You've got, you know, Mar-a-Lago situation, which is bad for our country. Prosecuting your political opponent, you can't whip him at the ballot box 
on a free and fair, a real free and fair election. You can't whip him at the ballot box. So you got to take him to court on a bunch of bogus charges to smear his name. That's what you're doing. It looks like you're weak, okay? That's what it looks like. You can't beat him fair and square. So you got you to use the law against him that you're in charge of. You got to use your DOJ to try to make him look bad. Such a bad deal, bro. Mm, mm, mm. It's going to backfire bad. It's going back. It's already it's already backfiring. Whew. You got up. I mean, we're really, really, really going to have a trial about hush money to a former porn star. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing now. I'm like, <laughs> can, are you kidding me? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not advocating that anybody should be above the law at any time. What I am saying is. Oh, but the Biden crime family is above the law. They haven't locked. They got. I mean, these pictures are online of Hunter Biden smoking crack, prostitution, you name it, lying on a gun application. Who's not above the law here? Okay, if this ain't favoritism, I've never seen it before. It's ridiculous. A monkey could see what's happening. Okay. Above the law? Yeah, okay. All right. He's the president of the United States, the former president of the United States. You talk to us about Russian collusion. You talk to us about a, a, a bevy of things over the years, man. Yeah, did we talk about the Russian collusion and the Mueller report, the Steele dossier? What did the Mueller report reveal? No Russian collusion. They wasted all those years in taxpayer dollars on a big lie, okay? They lied about it. Adam Shifter, Hillary Clinton did this. They lied about it. Call us deplorables. These people are crazy, man. It's a game to them, though. They got to stay in power. This is a power grab. Oh, yeah, it was always a power grab. That's for sure. But who, who has the real power? We the people actually have the real power. We get to decide. All right. This is capitalism. Stephen A. Smith is right. It's capitalism. We're, you know, we're fired of people who are not doing the right things. We'll take our money back away from them. We make our voices heard for real. We don't have to spend our money there. When somebody's doing a bad job, you get rid of them. You hire slow. You check the person out. It's in any business. Hire very slow. Fire very fast. You're out of here. You know, you're not doing a job. You're out of here. Mike Johnson, you got you out of here, okay? You ain't doing a job. You're not doing a good job. Uh, you're not. You're not. You're not. It just. I mean, the American people are clearly sending a message here about what we want. We're clearly saying this, but they're trying to. They're trying to make it seem like we're crazy. We don't know what the hell we're talking about. But the coin's coming to a head. Like and subscribe, guys. Until the next time. Yup, I said it. Peace.